Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this cool animation you see right here on screen using the Rigid Modi technique. Okay, so let's start building. So firstly, we have our cube set up here. I'm just gonna drag and delete all of them. Oh, leave the camera, okay? So now what we're gonna do is to go Shift A. Okay. Yeah, so Shift A. And then add a plane right there. So the plane is gonna act as our marble run. So I'm just gonna move to edit mode. So you could do that, or either use the tab key. So I'm just going to go tab to go into edit mode. And by default, it gets you into versus you select. So what we're going to do is to go A, and then scale in, in the X axis. So scale X. Now we're going to scale in the Y axis, so scale Y. Now we have the perfect shape, we, we have to try and extrude it, it doesn't work, you see? So what we have to do is go to edge select and select those two edges. And then now extrude it. But before that I'm going to go to the Y axis view. So Y axis, it's a bit hard to find where you are in number keys, number pad sorry. So now we can extrude it. So then it extrudes freely. So let's click Z. So it extrudes in the Z axis. Perfect. About two, three squares is enough. So, so go extrude 0 0.3 and then scale in the y, X axis. I keep, yeah. Okay, after you have that, let's select all and go to face select. Now let's go Alt E and go extrude places along normals. This will have a nice extrusion effect on this object. Okay, so let's go to the minus X axis view. And then now you see it's flat. So we have to make it a bit like steep. So I'm gonna go Alt Z or click that button at the top and then select the first bit. Make sure in vertices select mode. So now I'm gonna, yeah, so now we have everything selected, as you can see here, and then move it in the z-axis. Ooh, that looks very cool. Now it looks like a proper marble run. Okay, so now I got out of Alt Z or wireframe mode in this case, and now I'm gonna add another plane and then scale this plane up as our ground. I'm also going to add a circle. So, is this thing levitating? So, we need something to support it. So, that's why I'm going to use a circle. So, I'm just going to move it into position. Right there. That's probably a bit too big. So, I'm just going to scale it down. Go tab. And extrude it. About that much. So, you can barely see it from the outside. Now, I'm going to rotate this. In the x-axis until it's about the same degree as our marble run perfect about that much yeah now you see we have a support here instead of it floating like a magic trick now I just I'm just yeah I'm just messing around with it okay so now you see you have that perfect Okay, time to have some fun. So firstly, let's go to the rigid body section. So you see there, you can see the rigid body, you can click it. And now, you see it falls like crazy and get, goes into the deep. We don't want that. So what we do is we either set the type to passive, or there's another way, I'll show you later. Or we could set this to passive. So then that thing won't fall. But it's still good to put them all passive. So now I'm going to set this 
cylinder like thing to passive as well. Perfect, now they're not moving. So now we need a ball. So I'm gonna add a UV sphere. Icospheres just won't work as they're not round enough. I'm gonna go to the Y axis view and then scale the ball, ball down to the appropriate size and move it up. Okay, I'm just making some minor adjustments. And then bring it to position. Okay, so I'm gonna click Wicked Body again. And now you see it's working like perfect. Except there's one exception. It's floating on top of the marble run. How could that be? Oh, that's what we have to fix right now. Okay, so now, now you see here, and there's an imaginary border which it lies on. So I'm gonna set the shape to mesh. So then, Blender knows it's mesh, and now it's working smoothly, perfect. More like perfect, so yeah. I'm gonna set this shape to sphere. We have to be truthful in Blender, so if we set that to mesh, Things might work out, but Blender's not gonna know it's a circle, sphere, so I'll just set it to sphere, as it is a sphere. So now you can change the surface response. So you can increase or decrease the friction. If you decrease the friction, it doesn't even roll, and it's super fast. We don't want that. Everything has friction. If we set the friction to 1, it will roll very accurately, but very slow. Most marble runs are way faster than this, so I'm just going to set the amount probably more halfway, like 0.7 or 0.5. I'll just set it to 0.7. That's perfect. Cool. So now I can play around with this. 0.7 is a bit too much, so I can change it. I'm not going to as this is for demonstration purposes, but it's alright for now. Now for the really fun bit. Okay, so yeah, now we have our sphere plane and then we made some adjustments to it by extruding it. Stuff like that. Okay, so now let's go tab. Yeah, and then select that bit like we did earlier. And then let's extrude this. And now let's move this. Now let's rotate it as well because we want it to look smooth and cool. Let's do the same extrude, move, rotate, and voila, we have our marble run. Let's scale this up. Look, it is so cool, right? You see how the ball changes direction? It's so satisfying. Perfect. Okay, so now instead of laying it flat, we could also do the thing we did last time and make it mo roll more efficiently. So let's move that down a lot. So the ball goes really fast at that area and then make it slow down a bit. So the angles are quite different actually which is awesome for this technique. Move it up. Okay, so after we have that, now let's extrude that bit so it's touching the floor. Or oh, it's gonna be the magic levitating trick again. Perfect. You may see it's a bit off the floor but okay let's play the animation Ooh, that is fast and that is really cool now let's change the bioceners to one as you can see nothing happens as well it's not levitated so let's just set this to zero we'll check out some other features in a later video Okay, so I'm gonna set the friction to 0.5 as or 0.4. I'm just gonna set it to 0.4 as we want this 
people to be really speedy. That is good. I mean, that is the best. Nice, huh? Okay, so now I'm gonna add a cube. So we want the objects to knock into something. So I'm gonna view the object and then move the object. Around there, probably. Now let's now it's in sunk into the floor, so let's level it upwards. Ooh, it's a bit sunk in, you can see the outline a bit. Okay, yeah, that's probably good. Now let's rotate it so it's facing the marble run. Duplicate it. And then go YY to change in the local Y axis. Now let's go Shift R. So Shift R, so that repeats the action. Perfect, again. Oh, I forgot to add ready rigid bodies. So if you wanna add rigid body to everything, Firstly, you have to, without like duplicating it, we can first add it to the into one cube and then duplicate it. So then it'll ha all have a body. So now let's select everything and then duplicate it upwards. So. So I duplicated it like that. Now let's go Shift R again. So it repeats the action. You could even do Alt D. That makes it set the same colors, but I'm not gonna do that. What? It didn't even move. That's unexpected because of the mass. So let's change that to 310 kilograms. You could change it to anything you like, but I'm just gonna do that. Perfect! Oh, that it looks so satisfying. If you want to move that, you can move the cubes and the ball. So it spreads out. You could even lower the mass of the cubes. So then it shoots out farther and easier. And you could go Control L to link it to other data. Blender's so cool, right? Okay, now that the fun parts are over, let's change the colors. So, firstly, let's add a new color to the pole and set it to about an ash color. Be sure to set the metallic to one and then decrease the brightness of this so it looks more metallic. Now you can add the same material for the marble run. You could make it look wooden if you want. And then set the ball color to a random color. I'm just going to set it to yellow, so we can see the differences. Now you can set the sheen to 1, if you want to make it look more fabricated, and then shade smooth. Okay, so let's change the color of a cube first. So let's go here, and then add a new color. Okay, let's do, yeah, so it only applies to one of them. If you want to make them do it to all, Let's firstly select the cubes, and then deselect the marble run. Oops. Okay, so now we have all them selected. And then select the cube you painted last. Go Control L, and go Link Materials. Now all of them are, you know, the color pink. I forgot, I forgot my colors. Okay, so now we have that. Let's change the floor color to black and then increase the metallic in that as well. Oof, that looks so good. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you learned how to use the rigid body technique in this video. Bye! Ba 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 ba